Not anybody can say that. <laughs> that takes real talent. From Florida, sun, the sunshine state. Sun, that, that's what I watch too. Uh, oh my god. What is it called? Sun. Oh my god, I can't think of it. So now we're going to apply one coat of nail uh, pink press on gel as our base. So one nice thin coat over the entire nail surface. And this is going to act as like a protectant on the nail and give start giving that beautiful pink color because Kara loves a good pink nail bed mm -hmm. moment. Hellmaiden87 says, oh my god, this are so cute. Aren't they perfect? I love a good French nail. You can never go out of style. Nice. My mom said that for her birthday in June, she wants French nails too. Mm. So that way you guys can be matchy matchy. Does your mom still get them very long? Um, not as long as she used to, but okay. she still wears them like a good yeah. medium. She can't now because she does a lot with my dad. Like she, um, oh, yeah. she makes sure he, she counts his pills that he has to take and cook for him, even though she's not a very good cook. <laughs> DoorDash. DoorDash. No, but eating out is really unhealthy. Oh, I know. Oh, That's why I like my ding cuisine. <laughs> so now we're going to bake this for uh, 90 seconds with the low heat so that way she won't feel the crump. And then I'm going to get my pink bubblegum gel ready. I can take my ears off now. Now, like, Playboy's really gone down. They have, like, Brent Rockman in there. I have no idea. I don't oh. track of that anymore. You're like, since I left, it exactly. just went downhill. That's why. She's like, it's not what it used to be. Tiffany Armstrong says, I so need your handstand. Yes. Yes, you can get it on the website. It is called the Royal Armrest. So we're going to do a nice coat of bubblegum gel in pink on the inside. And take off any excess. And you guys know this product is vegan, hypoallergenic, and hema free. So you can definitely touch it and work with it and not have to worry about um, allergies. You can mold it with your fingers and not worry about anything. Just perfection. Mm -hmm. That's what I love working with bubblegum gel too because you can really like take your time, move it around, and you don't have to cure it until the nail is how you want it. Especially like with somebody with arthritis or limited mobility. So incredible. About 14 to 21 days. So yeah, I'm really excited to go see Madonna in July. I would still go see her. Her face just so happy. Well, I didn't see, I didn't get. <laughs> the color you have on your nails is so cute. Like the perfect pink, rosy color. Yes, this is press on gel in pink, but since this is a gel that's more like a builder gel, we have a pink number one or a pink number three that looks pretty much like it. So now we're going to apply. I love it. I'm touch gel. Oh, thank you, love. And then we freeze it in place. Yeah, that's why I didn't get tickets up close. <laughs> I got the middle She's section. Like you want to see it from far away. <laughs> and saying so that you were at the Madonna concert. And you know, just close enough where you can like make her out, but not too close where you're like, ooh, well, ooh. Like, what do you think happened? Like, she said too much? Or? No, I think she got it too soon. Okay. And it takes about a good three months for the swelling to go down. And then since she's older, probably a little bit longer. So I think she should have gotten her whatever she needed to get done before. Mm -hmm. And then it would have like settled in place. Like Demi Moore when she was at the at the Fendi fashion show. Oh yeah. And she looked like she had strings in her face, but she probably did. <laughs> no. What is good So like for example, when were the Grammys? In February? Yes. So she should have gotten her work done like in October, November. So that way by the time February was here, it would have like settled in. Yeah. Notes from a professional. One of one of the girls on uh, the Royal Housewives, uh, new girls, Royal Housewives of New Jersey, she totally has a who. She looks like who from Whoville. Very. Bad. She got a very Jersey she nose job. Said, she even said she got a bad nose job. Didn't Teresa's daughter get a nose job too? Yes. And how does it look? Actually, it looks hers looks okay. It's Gia, the oldest one, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did she get a nose job? What was it like before? I don't know what was the, what was the problem. Like I a don't toucan. Know. I didn't see a problem in it at all. Really? All my daughters are beautiful. That's like Some beautiful. of them have like really bright blue eyes too, huh? Yes, the little beautiful. ones. Beautiful. Did she ever have a boy or just like no, twenty thousand mm -hmm. girls? Her last one was Adriana. So. How many did she have? Four. Four. 
were girls. Does she still live in that big old beautiful house? No, they had to sell it. <gasps> yeah, I think the bank was gonna take it. Ooh. I think. So she's like, let's sell don't it now, so that me. way Uncle yeah, Sam won't take it. Me. And then she found Louie. What does he do? I have no idea. He's he's pretty well off though. Oh too. really? Yeah. Does he look like Joe? No, he doesn't look like sausage. No. <laughs> no, he's not big and buff. No, no. Because Teresa's brother looked like Joe a little bit, didn't they? Yeah. Well, they're both Joes. <laughs> they're both Joes. Go ahead and put that in. They're both Joes. So. It's crazy. Didn't Melissa get some work done too? Oh yeah, her nose, her boobs. She said she said Botox. And how does she look? Fillers maybe. She looks okay, but you can tell. Really? Yeah, she looks. I think she looks a lot more natural than Teresa. That she looks. I don't know. But does Teresa also have her caveman forehead? Oh my gosh, her, <laughs> I think she has a two head. Like, so, like, <laughs> like her eyebrows and her forehead are almost touching. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's funny. They're tan. They're so tan. Like super orangey. Like horrible. Ooh. Yeah. And Natasha Jones says, I love that you don't have to rush when putting them on. No, you take your time and make sure they're perfectly aligned how you want them because sometimes you think it's straight, but then you turn it over and it's crooked, a little twack. So you want to make sure that twack. she's not twack. Puka 518 said, el chisme da bueno hoy. That's right. That's how we roll, mama. You know what's up? I had to catch up. After the tea is on fire. Seven years. After seven years, there's a lot of reality <laughs> there's TV. There's a lot of achievement. That's funny. A lot of booty. <laughs> a lot of stallion booty. Yes. What was Phaedra's booty video called? Phaedra? What was Phaedra on? Real Houses of Atlanta. Oh my god, I remember Phaedra. And it was Kenya had the stallion booty, and then Phaedra was like, well, I'm gonna make one too. And then Portia, not Portia, Kenya was like, she looks like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> oh my god. Gone with the way I'm fabulous. You say I'm ghetto, I say I'm fabulous. And Kim's like, oh, I just have my lips done. Oh my gosh, no, she's had everything done. She had a Her nose job. Too. Her her daughter, Ari Ariana, the youngest that was like bigger, mm -hmm. she lost so much weight. Mm -hmm. She has her lips done. She has everything done. And Brielle, I know for a fact, has done all that stuff. They come and get their na their hair done in Scottsdale. In Scottsdale. In Scottsdale. Get, really? Uh huh. But don't they wear wigs? No, they have extensions. But in, in Scottsdale, they come for the girl. Really? Mm -hmm. Is the girl really good? I assume so. But Who I don't is think it? Can anymore. <laughs> Not what, they're like, should we have a place to live or? Yeah, exactly, that's what they were saying. They were like, maybe you should uh, manage your. Or bleach your own hair. That's what I do. My mom does it for me. Yeah. I hate going to a salon and being there for hours. Yeah. Go ahead and do 30 seconds for me upside down. Mm -hmm. What I did right now is I put a coat of Wonder Gel, and that is going to seal any um, bubblegum gel on the inside and also make the inside of the nail stain resistant. So that way, if any dirt or anything like that gets underneath the nail, she just washes it and it comes right off. Are you still at um, Boston Pizza? No. No? No, I've been there forever. <laughs> I've been there forever. Where are you dancing at now? No, I'm not dancing anywhere. No? I'm doing dental assisting. Really? Mm -hmm. I went after the um, freaking COVID, then I wanted to do something else. So I went to this little program that I found on Facebook, and he actually is a really good dentist at um, in Oral Valley. Wow. Higher Math, Dr. Higher Math. And he, um, yeah. And he did it. I did it for six months, and mm -hmm. I'm there. So now I you're just a dentist. Started. So yeah, and then I'm um, bartending on the side. Where at now? At Taco Tote. Taco Tote. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get an autograph from Karen Monaco, you know where to find her at. <laughs> Taco Tote, or yes. the dentist. I go to Dr. Pondy. I didn't know you worked at a dentist. Yes. Um, Doctor. Well, it's uh, Dental Excellence. It's called. Dental Orange Excellence. Grove and La Cañada. Really? You know, dentists right can do um. Uh, Botox? Mm, yeah, they legally can. You should be like, hey, doc. Yeah, I know. You, maybe, you... maybe after my year, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> let's get down to business. Yeah, I it's, just... in, it's interesting. I'm pretty sure you meet a lot it's of people. Very interesting. It's very interesting. Very different from the bar. I um, so, I had to get a post put in on this tooth because my teeth are all fake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I told them, I was like, I want really bright white teeth. And my dentist was like, no. You're going to look like you're from like, the only way is Essex or. <laughs> Like the Jersey Shore people, a lot of super them, like it, super white, super fake, and then they're tan, so it's like it makes them even brighter. Mm -hmm. So he's like, we're gonna do a natural color on you because he's like, you already look pretty fake, so you know, mm -hmm. at least your no, teeth should look. look they, yeah, they look good. They look good. They, yeah, I've learned so much already. I'm just like, that's crazy. And teeth are expensive. Oh my gosh, everybody's like, they they go in and I take them like back up there to pay and stuff, mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, that'll be fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> that'll be forty five hundred dollars. I'm like, what? What did you just do? You just popped out a tooth, and that was it. 
and then it's like you're in debt. That's why they go to Mexico. And the exactly. And the insurance only takes up so much, and it doesn't even cover that much. Wow. Dental, uh, dental insurance is not the best. Does he, is he loaded, the that. dentist? Oh, yeah. Does he have a nice car? He's going to be Well, Carrie, you better, learn how to, you better learn how to make some curry. <laughs> yeah. What's his last name? Hire Is that his real last name? Satish Hireman. I think my dentist is from like that part of the world yeah, too. Satish Hireman. Well. And the other dentists that work in there are all easily. The ethnic dentist. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to use the superstar drill bit to blend in that cuticle area. That's who, you know, when we date, that's who we should go for. Like dentists, lawyers, doctors, a nice anesthesiologist. Mm -hmm. Puka asks which pays more. Are you asking me if it's the bartending of course does, but you know, I wanted to do something different, so. Anything where you have to do with people um, in person constantly exactly. can be very, very um, tiring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And benefits, you know, you usually get the benefits in there. A nice 401k. Speaking, yes, long term, so I had to do something different. And it's good because now your kids are older, so you mm -hmm. get more flexibility probably. Mm -hmm. It was like perfect timing. So, let's see if it works out, but. You've been there over a year already? No. I've only been there since April. Oh, okay. Yeah, it only. So a year really soon. So a year really soon. So hopefully. Stas Queen says I need so much dental work. I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I know. It can be painful. Trust. It can. I think out of everything that I've had done, because I've had quite a few done. I've seen so much. Teeth are probably the most I've uncomfortable seen thing. So much. Well, I developed a deviated septum. Because that's why I had to get my third nose job because um, from getting the veneers put in. Oh. It uh, deviated my septum. Mm hmm. And then I couldn't breathe. And then I, well, all of a sudden he told me, he's like, oh, you know, you have a deviated septum. And I was like, I do. Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, that's why you can't breathe at night. That's so crazy. Well, that's what they say about, I've learned too, with the dental is um, it, it has to do a lot with your health. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't have good teeth, if you don't have the, you know, cleaning them and stuff like that. Yeah, it can affect your health really bad. So then when he told me that, I was like, well, at least now I have an excuse to get a, th a third nose job. <laughs> there you go. I didn't need one, but okay. But my last nose was really small and a little bit upturned, so I didn't mm -hmm. like that. Everyone's like, oh, you have such a cute little button nose. And I was like, yeah, I mean, for a girl, they would like that. But for a guy, we need a more prominent nose. Yeah. I remember, like, you had, like, the drainage tube from the other one. Really yes. bad, remember? Well, I, I always had chronic sinusitis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, it seems like no. Mm -hmm. You sound good and everything. Yeah. And yeah. it's only been since November, and I had no oh. bruising, no black eyes. Like, I, I went out, like, as soon as they took the cast off, because mm -hmm. I had to be there for nine days. That night, I went out. I was like, I gotta show this off. Yeah. I gotta go show this nose Hit it. off. Hit it up. But now I need a little bit more lifting. Because this, this nose job took, um, I think like four or five hours to do. Because yeah. they, har they had to harvest um, rib. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then the scar is on the inside of the nose. So oh, there's no scar in the South Korea. South Korea. So now let's make sure the sides are nice and straight. Puka says, I can only think that Dennis from the little shop of horrors that became a dentist for torture. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's um, all he's all fifty shades of gray. If they're good, I, what I've learned, if they're good dentists, they'll they're good. They're gentle, they're good. In you and out. Mm -hmm. In and out. But it is uncomfortable just having your mouth in that position. Yes. Oh of course, yeah. The hygienists are real good too. Really? Yeah. I don't like dentists that when they're talking to you, they're like not looking at you. Oh, uh-huh. Or they're like they're like two 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 four yeah. two two six. I'm like, what does what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. No, mine is, is he's cool because he'll be like, oh, so and so, Mr. Smith. I'm gonna talk to Lorraine in gentle terms right now, and then mm -hmm. I'll discuss with you later. I'll talk to Kara Monica. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> I know. I better tell them that. That's Miss Kara. And then he's gonna be like, who? <laughs> and then you're like, just Google it, but make sure you're alone. <laughs> and then clear your browsing history when you're done. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me. But you can give me a raise. There you go. Yeah. That's exciting though. Yeah, it was it was it was different. It was um I don't know, did you ever meet my other friend Sarah? Sarah Lyle? No. Okay, so she she was in the bartending business with me too and she went into medical assisting. She's at TMC Medical Assisting. Oh, I heard that's a lot of paper pushing. No, not a lot of paper pushing. She does way more than me, gets paid less than me, and I do way less than her. Poor thing. Mm. And she's like in in their beds taking the baths. <laughs> <laughs> there. You know. And I'm there. just like, and yeah, and everybody, I remember that. Cleaning the. Cleaning the. 
Um, what you McCoy? Um, God bless her soul, because that is a yeah, very hard thing to do. A lot of people are like, how do you, how are you in people's mouths? I'm like, honestly, I've been fine. I haven't had to get into anything like disgusting, thankfully. I remember when I did know. Sweet baby Jesus. But. I had a client that had um, what is it when you're like gum smell, Perio uh, something? Oh yeah, yeah. Period. Oh, I forgot. I can't see it. Um, yeah, it's gum disease. And her, I remember like my, remember my mom used to sit across from me mm -hmm. at the nail salon when I had it. She was like, gosh, I can smell her breath from over here. <laughs> I don't know how you do her nails. Oh That's how bad it stank. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're the gum disease of yeah. Yeah, I haven't had any of that or anything, so that's pretty good, thankfully. But then again, I'm not on crack feeling for love. <laughs> or the south side. Or the south side. So. Gingivitis. Gingivitis. I'm gonna bake that just 10 seconds for me. And we're gonna sew with two coats of wonder gel. It is, we cleaned the cuticle area. So the top surface of the nail, you do not wipe. You do not buff or anything like that because the French and the ombre, this goes the same for both, is um, hand painted. So we're gonna seal with two coats of gel. And I'm gonna use wonder gel because you guys know wonder gel is stain resistant and it is a rubber gel top coat. So it'll help keep the white fresh. So the first coat, nice and thin, and work it into all the little nooks and crannies. And then the second one, we can do a little bit thicker coat and float it over the entire nail surface. So cleaning the cuticle area with acetone is a newer technique that we've been playing with lately. Okay. And so far, everybody really likes it because you can get a really clean cuticle and just really precise and, and nice and snatched. So this length is perfect. So when you come back, we're probably gonna have to trim them a little bit just well, so yeah, that Well, yeah, this is this is perfect because any longer I couldn't do the, you know, with the gloves and everything. Yeah, exactly. I put the gloves on all the time. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I didn't think. But I didn't make the edges really no, too sharp, so that way you won't. No, it's, um, it's perfect actually. You won't. Some uh, of the girls break have the gloves. longer, and I'm like, how do you? Oh. They're all gagging their clients. Yeah. You're like, I just need to check your gag reflex. <laughs> come on, they've been there for years, so they've got oh, to be. I saw a TikTok once where the, I guess the dentist can find out if you were. You were putting. Oh yes! In your I mouth. saw that one too. I saw that one too. Yep. So if you are a bad girl or a bad boy, mm -hmm. remember you guys when you go to the dentist, they can they can tell when they when you're putting in your mouth. You. Give the low rider. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and put that in for me. Thirty seconds. Yeah. You being naughty girl. If you're a naughty girl, mm -hmm. so don't do it before you go to the dentist. No, you can tell. Yes, it is getting. It's hard to get used to gloves. But do you wear latex gloves or the other kind? Latex. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if a client has um, allergies to latex, they'll probably tell you beforehand, huh? Yes. Or else their mouth is going to look like they have herpes. Mm -hmm. On top of the anesthetic. <laughs> Ooh. Does it um, let you like get high off the gas? No. no? Have you tried that before? No. What is it, nitrous oxide or whatever? Yes, I've only had to use it on a couple of people. They say it feels great. But it, calm, it, look, it has to do with a lot of people with their... Um, anxiety and stuff really people need it to you know because they're that scared of the dentist yes, yes there are people that have very bad yeah anxiety. wow trauma mm -hmm. wow that's serious oh, yeah you're like i need a zanny bar before i yeah, go to the dentist seriously like a whole it's a whole day thing wow that's intense mm -hmm. i don't i don't mind it too bad what gives me anxiety crowds oh like i when i went to go get my hair cut Usually when I go on Sunday, it's yeah. just Kendra there, right? Mm -hmm. And I went on Thursday or Wednesday, I can't remember. The salon was full and I was like, oh my God, yeah. so many people. And then I don't like when strangers come up to you and like start talking to you. So this lady was like, I like your shoes. And I was like, thanks. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, you're wearing the perfect color for this week because I was wearing green. And I was like, okay, lady, <laughs> <laughs> you, you made your point. Enough. Yes. Enough. I'm like, why do strangers like to talk to me so much? Mm -hmm. Huka says, after all this, we all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> No, but some people really like really like talking to strangers about their problems. Yeah, oh for sure. Hell Maiden says, I want to try the gel you have on your nails, the pink gel. And I have a video on how I do my nails too. It is on YouTube and it's also on Instagram and I think it's here on TikTok too. Izzy Nail says, hate crowds. Izzy Snail. Izzy okay. Snail. I'm, you know, at concerts or at Disneyland. Yeah, I can put up with it. But yeah, a lot of people have anxiety with the crowds. You just need to like suck it up sometimes because people are like, oh, how do you deal with it when you go to concerts and things like that? You just don't think about it. Like weddings and things like that, eh, I'd rather not go. Or funeral, I loathe going to funerals. 
like today my mom got invited to a quinceanera mm. and she was like do you want to go i'm like of course not i don't know who that is <laughs> starting to turn the hand upside down let itself level out and i was like why are you going to you don't know who this girl is she was like it's my friend's niece's sister whatever and i was like and you're going they're starting to have quinceaneras for boys now what are they called quinceaneros no i don't know what they're called they're just quinceaneros for guys now really yeah, did you have one for the last day no. But I asked him if he wanted one, and he said no. What did he want a car? <laughs> he wants a car. Really? I just got my first car recently, too. Really? I got a Tesla. Are you driving? No. Oh. <laughs> no. It was a tax write off. Wow. I got a Tesla oh Model God. X Plaid. would kill you because he loves Tesla. Really? Tell him mm -hmm. he wants to go cruising in my Tesla. <laughs> what color? Black. Oh, nice. Beige interior. It still smells new. Wow. And so it drives by itself and everything? No, like, not, yet. no not yet. It takes a while for it to kick in. Really? Mm hmm. Look how beautiful they look, you guys. Now Thank we're gonna bake you. these for one minute. Make sure the thumb is all the way into the little mm -hmm. slot. But uh, it is beautiful. Wow. And it's actually really roomy. Four door? Yes. But the back doors open up like the T wings. Mm -hmm. And it dances too. It has all these really cool, like little nifty options. Mm -hmm. Like it has this thing called romantic mode. Oh and it's, <laughs> it has a fireplace and uh -huh. then it starts throwing hot air at you. Fancy. And the seats heat up too, so like it yeah. knows the temperature and everything like that. I saw one that they were able to um, do the car horn, whatever you wanted to do. Oh yeah, you can do that. Like not Hong Kong, you know, your original. <laughs> and then like for Christmas, you can change the little. Um, it has it on the on the dashboard. It shows you the traffic, but for Christmas, you could change it to a um, Santa Claus riding a sleigh. Yeah. Who needs to live anywhere when you can live in your car now? It's a very dude kind of car. Yeah. Like the chairs kind of kind of look like gaming chairs too. Really? Mm -hmm. Super one. Don't 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 so I really like that the Tesla is very much like a techie kind of guy car. But I got the Model X Plaid, so mine goes zero to, one more time, zero to 60 in like 1.2 seconds. It's faster than a Ferrari. And I've only tried Plaid mode twice and like it really, like, whoa. Yeah. Feels like you're gonna fly out through the windshield. It, goes. The text, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was. I had to get the car before January so in order for it to qualify for the full tax credit. Because now they made it harder. Mm, yeah, for sure. With the Inflation Reduction Act, that doesn't really reduce inflation. It makes yeah. it harder for you to get um, your tax write-off for the electric vehicle. Because uh -huh. before January 20th, the battery could be made anywhere and you would get a tax write-off. But now the battery has to be made in America in order for it to be 100% a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And no electric car has a battery made here. <laughs> oh, no. Exactly. Wow. I think they're going to open up a Tesla factory in Monterey. Because the one right now is in Austin. So then Monterey is like on the other side of the border. So it's just a, is it just a dealership right there on River and? Uh, and Service. Oh, okay. Okay, River and Oracle. Yes, yeah. that's why I picked it up. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's over there by Red Lobster. Yeah, I was so excited to pick it up too because I waited for it forever, like yeah. six months. No, oh less than that, gosh. less than that. I like maybe like three months. I ordered it in September and I got it in December. It just sits there? No, no, they have to make it. Oh, okay. Remember, you guys, after that comes out of the lamp, we wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process. What's everybody saying? Um, uh, I want to try the gel you have. Okay. The only reason people go to funerals in PR is for chocolate and donuts. I wish I was making that up. Oh, <laughs> chocolate and donuts. Let's go to, oh no, I don't, I wouldn't want to go to Puerto Rico just for a funeral. That would suck. Oh, I know. So when you go pick up your Tesla too, it's like very impersonal. Like it's very millennial. But you go and then you get a text message to go say, get, go to your car and then that's it. And everything you submit. Well, it's worth the tax right off. Oh. But yeah, it depends what model you get, but yeah, yes. Of oh my gosh, look how beautiful they look on camera. Thank you. Like they're flawless. So okay, flawless. And this is live. Look at that cuticle. It is blended for filth. We hit the giveaway, you guys. Yes. So now, Miss Monaco, for the giveaway, you have to pick a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the winner cannot have one within the last month, so that way we do it fair for everybody. Well, we'll ask them. Okay. And they have to live in America, too, in the U.S. or in a U.S. territory. Oh, they are stunning. You are back, Miss Monaco. So pretty. Thank you. So, you got, so Miss Monaco, you have to pick somebody now. Dun, da, da, da. Pick Who is it going to be? Puka. Puka 518, I think she was. Have you won before, Miss Puka? Have you won within the last month? Hello? Going once? She was just on there. Going twice? Hello? Moshi Moshi. Where'd you go? 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 Where'd you go?
you go. There you go. She's never won. Where do you live, Miss Puka? Oh, they're so pretty. Let's put both in the frame. Where do you live, Puka? She's like, OMG, OMG, I want a little knickknack. Congratulations, that was nice. They're beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. Let's put both of them like that. Oh, she lives in PR. Puerto Rico. Oh, look how beautiful they are, you guys. <gasps> oh my God, they're beautiful. <laughs> look at Kara. I'm back. So, Mama, what I need you to do is send an email to info at enocouture.com and let them know you're today's winner, winner, chicken dinner. And we're going to send you out a little gift, okay, my love? And you guys, that's going to wrap up our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to register for upcoming class in LA, May 28th and 29th. Don't forget to take advantage of the um, March Madness sales. And thank you so much for coming out, Miss Monaco. Your nails came out beautiful. Yes, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody.